Hi everyone, it's Chris here. With AI content on the rise, YouTube is recommending human-created videos less and less. If you appreciate my content, then please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and possibly sharing so we can get noticed. Thanks so much. Right, here we are in GhostBSD, uh, release 25.02, uh, based on FreeBSD 14.3, part set 2. And in this video, we're going to be getting the DRM, so you can watch Netflix, etc., running on it. And it's not as straightforward as, as it maybe should be or could be, but, you know, this is the best way to do it. So, if we go to a DRM streaming test site, uh, it won't work, as it is. And this is using Firefox. So, we're on Firefox 143.0.1, and your DRM will not work. It, it just won't, as you can see. Fail to initialize media keys. So what we need to do is that we need to use a different browser. Now, you know, you either love or hate this browser, but it's just the way it has to be for this if you want to watch DRM. So we go to Software Station and put in this password. And we're going to be installing, once it refreshes, there we go. We're going to be installing Chrome. So we just type in. Uh, if you can find, oh, there we go. <laughs> to find Chrome or Chrome, and because it's keyword sensitive, it'll bring up everything with Chrome in it. So uh, there's uh, look, Chrome there, Chromium. I think this is the Googleized version. And if you want an un-Google version, uh, it, ooh, come on, we'll go back. There you go. Uh, it's at the bottom there. Um, I ain't tried doing this on that, but uh, I'm going to stick with the, the Googleized version. So. Click apply and it will bring in some useful things that we need anywhere. And that being notably the uh, foreign CDM. Now that's one half of the, well, one, uh, two thirds of the puzzle, the first being Chrome. We just need the final piece. And for that, uh, I'll do it after it installs. Is it installed yet? There we go. And just to show you, we do need the final step. I'm just going to start up Chrome. Or Chromium, and we're going to try the DRM test site again. So it still failed to play, even though we've got uh, two thirds of the puzzle sorted. Right. So um, what we need to install next for its all to work is Widevine, and there isn't a Widevine package available in the uh, in the package repository in GhostBSD. And so for that, we're going to have to perhaps go for uh, compile it ourselves. So we need to open a terminal, and we're going to need to install some, some like GhostBSD developer um, thingies. So I'm just going to go to ports and go to the... Oh, no, it doesn't exist. All right, okay. If you get this message, it basically means that ports have not been set up in GhostBSD yet. So uh, this is how we do it. So what you'll need to do is type in sudo pkg install and then ports then type in your password and it will install the ports and this is after the fact you know it's like once you've gone through the live system and then you've installed it in your machine you won't get ports uh, installed by default so once that's done we should have some ports now there we go so uh, we're in the wide vine ports, uh, kind of like directory thingy, but Bob, and there it is. So we're going to make install clean and you're going to get an error and it's, it's an OS version error. So we need to do after this and um, took me a long time to work all this out, but there you go. I'm going to pass it on to you. So you don't have to uh, go through the same torment. So we need to PKG install. And it's hyphen G, uh, GhostBSD star dev. I'll put this in the description box down below. No, no I mean, so it's sudo pkg install GhostBSD dev. And we'll bring in all these tools. And once that's uh, managed to do, we will be able to compile a wide vine which we're already in the director anyway.
So make install clean. There we go. Sudo again. Uh, most of the difficulties come from my ineptitude, so uh, please forgive me. And then we got a little license for wide vines, which is a good sign. You have to accept. If you reject it, then it's not going to install. So accept, and we can hopefully. There we go. So wide vine is now installed. So we should make a start up Chromium or Chrome and access some lovely DRM content, he says. But the way the rest of this video has gone, I wouldn't imagine it'll work straight away. So uh, down to the test thing again. Ah, can of course. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at. If we put in Chrome uh, components, and it'll show you what's actually installed. I was checking to make sure it is installed. Oh, there it is. Widevine content decryption module. So it is installed. Okay, well. well let's check again. DRM test. And we'll try the top one now, being on this one. Oh, there we go. Look, it's detected. Oh, except using wide. Oh my word! Detected using widevine. Now that is encouraging. So press play. Yeah, there we are. Little DRM. I can't say it. DRM. Little video playing on Chrome, Chromium. Uh, go BSD. Let's go back to the other site to see if it's working. Oh, yeah, it works now. There's a big play button and no warning at the top. So that's good. I think, I think we've got there. And I'm not going to play it all. Blender Foundation presents. Yeah, it's playing. Excellent. Well, we got there eventually after a few mistakes, but there, that's basically uh, that's, that's how you do it on uh, GhostBSD. The ports are installed by default. I don't think they are. Uh, so you have to do it that way and then compile it yourself. Yeah. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like one or two of my videos, uh, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, then make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when a new video is released with uh, errors and uh, problems galore. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.